What did I say? During the mean whilst. During the mean whilst. No, no, no. Like that at all. Well, hello. Oh, it is. It is Dexter and me. And we're back with the first video, as promised, of 2024. And as promised, it is a, um, not necessarily a look in my camera bag. You know, it's been kind of done to death. But just like um, uh, a look at the gear I will be using for for the forthcoming year for both uh, stills and, and videography. Um, I still have all my camera bags. I've got three of them. I've got my uh, Shimoda, which is my main kind of like stills bag. Uh, my low pro um something which is my main video bag and my billingham bag then which is like my you know grab and get out the door uh type kit bag you know if i want to you know grab it and get out the door and do some photography um yeah uh inside those bags not really as important as it used to be because i don't uh, tend to go out for the whole day with my camera now or you know or take it anywhere far uh but it contains all the sort of usual, you know, detritus, things like, you know, spare batteries, uh, cables, hard drives, that type of thing uh, that, you know, one day uh, I might need uh, somewhere. I still harbour desires to go and go and stay with my sister. Yeah, uh, that might happen this year, but travelling any sort of distance right now uh, is going to be a bit tricky. I'm uh, not in any sort of uh, fit state to uh, to travel far, really. Um I got another bloody cold. I can't believe it. This is like the third one in a trot on the trot now. Third cold on the trot. I had like that chest infection before Christmas. Then over Christmas, I had like runny nose, achy stuff, and everything. And that kind of went away. And now I've got a bad chest again. But there we are. That is the uh, the life of uh, the life of me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> if I make it to the end of this video, uh, <laughs> then I'll I'll get you out in time for Saturday. Right then, uh, let's look at my Fujifilm kit first, because um, a lot has changed uh, over the last 12, 12 months. Uh, in 20, 2023, at one stage, uh, I owned a camera with every single X-Trans sensor in it from 1 to 5. I think I had, yeah, I had an X-T10, or was that the second generation? Anyway, I had the X-E1, X-T10, X-T2, xt4 and xt5 and xh2 uh, at some stage uh, but that was really really rather ridiculous and i also had a load of lenses i wasn't using so i got rid of my 16 millimeter f1.4 27 millimeter f2.8 my 50 to 140 teleconverter <coughs> they all went so uh, i'll show you a quick little uh, uh, snapshot of uh, my main camera shelf now and uh, my my camera going forward for for 2024 is going to be uh, my main camera will be my Fujifilm X-H2 uh, 42 megapixels APS-C sensor takes absolutely marvellous pictures uh, couldn't be happier with uh, with the output of that camera it, it even rivals um, my GFX uh, 50R in terms of resolution and uh, surprisingly uh, dynamic range too um, you know a couple of photos at the coast um, really sort of high dynamic range shots and this camera this camera performed utterly flawlessly um, yeah to uh, in addition to the uh, the xh2 then uh, is my lens lineup uh, my 10 to 24 is my main uh, kind of like go to uh, landscape wide angle zoom on top of that then i've got the viltrox uh 23 millimeter f 1.4 which is recording me or helping to record me right now and that is a really really nice a really nice lens that uh, that viltrox um next up is the i've got hang on a minute, i got yeah, the other fuji film 35 millimeter f2 now this may go this year uh so i'm looking possibly at getting uh, the 30 millimeter uh, f 2.8 macro now i know i said before i probably wasn't going to get that lens because of the uh, short focal length but reading reviews of it uh, i might be tempted to uh to chop the uh, the 35 millimeter f2 in for that and then i got a lens that kills you know two birds with one stone really um then i've got a mica a mica 50 millimeter uh, f2 which um, i was using on my xe2 and i probably need to get rid of this lens i'll either give it to bethan 
or I'll, um, uh, I'll sell it or give it away or whatever. I don't know. Uh, next up is the Leowa 65 millimeter f2.8 ultra macro made by Venus Optics. Now this is a stunningly stellar uh, two times macro lens. Produces some absolutely uh, fantastic, fantastic images. Um, not my favourite macro lens, though. We'll get onto that later on. Um, because if anything, it's a, a little bit too sharp, maybe. <laughs> a little bit too sharp, the, the Leowa. And then lastly, then, I've got my uh, my nature and wildlife lens, my Fujifilm 100 to 400, uh, 4.5 to 5.6. Uh, another lens that I absolutely, absolutely love. Moving on then to my Nikon kit, I still got my uh, my D seven hundred uh, OG DSLR, and I will never be selling selling that, and neither will I ever be selling uh, the one hundred and five millimeter f two point eight G macro lens, which is, as you all know by now, my favourite lens of all time, and I made some of my most favourite images of all time uh, with with that lens, uh, that D seven hundred and 105 millimeter combo i call it the dream maker so not sharp right the resolution is only 12 megapixels not sharp but oh boy the pictures that come out of it <laughs> absolutely uh absolutely to die for um then we've got my uh was it 28 to 70 like a standard zoom now this came years ago on a nikon f801 film camera it was a kit lens that came with that and it's surprisingly, surprisingly good, to be honest with you. All right, it's no 24 to 70 f2.8, but, um, you know, it, it performs really, really well. Uh, again, uh, I'm not a sharpness freak. Um, I prefer, like, a, an atmospheric feel to my photo, so, you know, sharpness isn't necessarily uh, an important thing. And then lastly, uh, with the Nikon lineup, is my latest acquisition, a 17 to 35 f2.8 ultra wide angle zoom and uh, again uh, that takes absolutely absolutely wonderful wonderful pictures um optically on the d700 it's far from perfect but that suits me suits to me right down uh, to the ground right then uh video wise uh, my xh2 will be my main uh, video camera uh, for in office uh, stuff and if I want to make like you know a uh, a proper proper film outdoors um, at the other uh, it, it it's all done on my my GoPro Hero 12 Black which is sitting over there um, I got the media mod attached to it so I use that microphone uh, or I use um, a, a Rode uh, wireless go uh, which attaches to it and then you plug that into like the uh, um, the media mod and you can record audio through that obviously um, I've also got uh, a light uh, attached uh, to the little tripod little um, Manfrotto pixie that uh, that holds my GoPro and uh, I've also got a, um, a a square to round filter adapter so you can fit uh, screw in circular filters onto like the square the square lens Filters, I'm not going to mention too much in this video. Uh, there will be a separate video out uh, on the Tech Tuesday of the year. Oh, you lucky, you lucky people. On the uh, the first Tech Tuesday of the year uh, coming out next week. Um, that will be looking at all my uh, my filters. There are quite a lot, quite a lot to look at. Um, tripod wise, uh, the main weapon of uh, for landscape use is my eye footage um i can't remember the name of it now but it's a fast bowl one so uh, there's no center column but it said you've got like a bowl head which you can swivel and adjust and on top of that i've got a uh an ando i think it's like a panoramic head uh so all that does is swivel and tilt um you'll uh, uh, get it all level by means of the bowl head and not the actual uh, tripod head itself um and lastly then but not leastly is my lovely um three-legged thing brian which uh, is coming up now to 10 years old with his little air head one on and uh, I, I love that tripod a bit um it's uh 
yeah, it's strange. Um, I, I find myself if I take him out and he, I, I like I, I talk to him and things, and yeah, <coughs> that's me. It's me going mad probably. Uh, but I used to, used him for mostly my macro and uh, my kind of like nature nature shots. There we are. Uh, a couple of flashes, a couple of Godox flashes, and a trigger. I bought these last year with the intention of teaching myself flash photography, and uh, so far I've done the square root of a diddly squat, to be honest, uh, in trying to teach myself uh, flash photography. But this year, this year will be, will be that year. Right then, I think that is all. Uh, all my gear. I'm just going to check. Um, a couple of little things, you know, cleaning stuff, you know, like an air blower and brushes and stuff like that, uh, chargers, that kind of thing, or the boring, you know, det detritus. Uh, but that effectively is my photo and video kit going forward into 2024. Uh, the only one change I will probably make is I will get um, that 30 millimeter macro and uh, uh, part X the the 35 millimeter f2 uh, when i do when i do get that and i'll probably get rid of that uh, that mica lens um we'll also be on the lookout for 150 to 600 but not for me that would be for that would be for bethan's uh, photography um yeah so uh, if she's a really really good girl this year then perhaps santa will bring it next christmas or this christmas whichever christmas christmas 24 there we are she might get it for then you never know um i think that's about it oh, i have got a monopod uh which i, I have converted um uh, into like a walking stick use as well um i'll pop the little video up where i where i did that uh some time ago um, and that is that really is it what, a, what an exciting what an exciting start to 2024 eh? <laughs> anyway um i'm hoping this year to um get up and do a little bit more landscape and seascape shooting uh, as i alluded to in my last video of last year uh, but i also want to do some um, some like dreamy nature stuff so uh, the d700 and the oh i did forget a couple of things i forgot to mention uh, my adapters i've got um uh, an m42 to to fuji x mount adapter because i bought uh, a job lot of like screwing lenses at the end of last year um for like 30 30 quid for like six of them so i'm going to try them out uh for video really for video this year and i bought a fringer um smart adapter so i can adapt my um nikon lenses to my fujifilm body um and there will be a separate video uh coming out in a couple of weeks i think about that all about that adapter again you are so you spoilt. You spoilt your own during the meanwhile, don't you? Um, right then, that is it for this first video of 2024. Um, if I haven't already, uh, I wish you all a uh, happy, healthy and peaceful New Year. And uh, we will see you uh, on Tuesday um, with uh, with our first Tech Tuesday video of the year. This is so, this is so slick. So slick, the production qualities of doing the mean ones. Uh, anyway, our new farewell for 2024 is just going to be, be nice, all right? Be nice and we'll uh, see you on the next one. Take care. Ta-da.